Today, we have an interesting challenge related to streams in Java. Here, as you can see, we are converting a list to stream and then printing the size of the list using the count method. And it works fine. So if I execute, you can see that it is printing 6. Now the challenge is that before printing the count, we also need to print the content of the list. You will say that, okay, Abhishek, it's not that much difficult. What we will do is we will copy this for each method and we will invoke it after stream and before count, something like this. And here, obviously, I need to put a dot. But the problem is that this for each method is a terminal method. After for each, you cannot invoke any other method. So you will say that, okay, if that is not possible, another option is can we invoke the for each after the count? Obviously, that is also not possible because count is also a terminal method. So that means that it is not possible that you count as well as print the content of the list at the same time using stream. But then there is one more option and that is that instead of for each, what we will be doing is we will be saying here peak. So peak is also going to accept something like a consumer and then it is going to work fine. Let's see. So you see that still it is not working fine. Now the problem is that this peak method says that if you want me to do some kind of job, then you need to force me. Now in order to force it, what we need to do is that after this, we need to put some kind of a filter. But the thing is we don't want to filter anything. So let's just put a simple filter and what we can say is we can say that this amp is not equals to null. Obviously, all our employees are not equals to null. There is some data. So now let's force it. And now you can see that we are able to reach our goal. That is, we are able to print the content of the list as well as we are able to print the size of the list, both using streams in Java. Do like the video if you learned something new today. Thank you.